The Rothschild saga begins in 18th century Frankfurt, Germany, with Meyer Amschel Rothschild and his five sons, among whom Nathan Mayer Rothschild was a key figure. The family expanded their banking business across Europe, setting up banks in major cities like London, Paris, Vienna, and Naples. Rothschilds were goldsmiths that realized gold was not portable, and they could issue fiat currency as a replacement for the gold they stored for their wealthy customers. Nathan Rothschild's move to London marked a significant turn. He established N.M. Rothschild & Sons, which played a crucial role in financing government projects, including Britain's war efforts against Napoleon. Nathan's innovations in banking and finance marked a turning point in the industry. The 19th century saw the Rothschild fortune and influence reach its zenith. Their involvement in major historical events, including the financing of the Suez Canal, showcased their significant yet complex role in European affairs. Amidst their historical achievements, the Rothschilds have been the subject of many conspiracy theories. Nathan Rothschild, the head of the London branch of the Rothschild family banking empire, is famous for his quotes, buy when there's blood in the streets, even if the blood is your own. In 1815, Rothschild made his famous statement, I care not what puppet is placed upon the throne of England to rule the empire on which the sun never sets. The man who controls the British money supply controls the British empire and I control the British money supply. Nathan became a key figure in the British government's financial efforts during the Napoleonic Wars. Nathan utilized the Rothschild family's extensive banking network across Europe to facilitate the transfer of funds. This network allowed the British government to move money efficiently across the continent to pay troops and procure supplies. Rothschild played a critical role in managing and selling British government bonds. He helped raise significant funds for the British war effort by selling these bonds to international investors. This funding was crucial for maintaining and expanding the British military forces. One of Nathan Rothschild's most significant contributions was arranging the shipment of gold to the Duke of Wellington's army. The gold was used to pay soldiers and buy supplies in the war against Napoleon's forces. Rothschild's efficient and discreet handling of these transfers ensured that the British troops remained well-funded and supplied. After Napoleon's defeat, Nathan Rothschild continued to be involved in financing the post-war reconstruction, including the stabilization of British finances and the re-establishment of a European economic system. The successful management of these operations greatly increased the wealth and reputation of the Rothschild family. The success in financing the war effort cemented the Rothschild's position as one of the most influential banking families in Europe. Their ability to mobilize resources across national borders was unprecedented at the time. The expertise and networks developed during this period laid the foundation for the Rothschilds' future financial ventures. Their involvement in international finance, including the funding of infrastructural projects and government loans, was significantly boosted by their wartime successes. In summary, Nathan Rothschild's role in financing the British during the Napoleonic Wars was a turning point, not just for the Rothschild family, but also in the history of international banking. It demonstrated the power of financial networks and the crucial role of finance in warfare and politics. Nathan's actions during this period are a testament to his skill as a financier and his ability to influence the course of history through financial means. Thanks for watching.